Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today and tomorrow we're canning tomatoes. You've all seen me peel tomatoes, so I, I didn't take you through that, but I did that again today. This here is a bushel of tomatoes. Doesn't look like it, and you may be wondering why I have a tea towel and cheesecloth over these. Because, well, I slow cook my tomatoes. And there, see that fly? That's why the cheesecloth. It is that time of year. Now what I do is I have a big canning pot here with a rack in the bottom and water. And I have my tomatoes in my stock pots, but to also let moisture out. I had brought these pots up to a boil, and now I, have, I am turning them all the way down to minimum. Why? Because I just want to keep them hot overnight because these are going to cook all day tomorrow but I want to keep them hot I don't want to have to take them out put them in the fridge reheat them tomorrow so I just keep them in the double boilers and I cover them with cloths and I put them on minimum and I make sure that the cloths are nowhere near the burners and nowhere near anything that can catch fire Okay, so after they've stewed for a while, they gather a lot of water. So I just take this measuring cup and I go to the edge and I press and I siphon off a lot of the water. Now, you can do this and save the water for vegetable stock. I put it in the pig bucket. But this takes a lot of the water off your tomatoes so that they don't have to stew as long. Now, we can hit them with the immersion blender and this purees them so that they can stew down a little bit longer but you don't have the lumps now that I have taken the water off and used the immersion blender I've now been able to combine both stock pots into my one big stock pot I cover again the stock pot only with a tea, clean tea towel and we let it stew down a little bit longer. Okay, here's our bushel of tomatoes all in one stock pot. Isn't that beautiful? There's our lids and yes, I brought them to a boil. Our jars have been washed, rinsed. They have been baked at 215 degrees for 15 minutes. We're going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Look at this beautiful rich sauce. People say, how do you get your tomatoes so that there's no water in the bottom? Well, I double boil them, and before I puree them, you saw me, I take water off. Here we go. Always, always wipe your rim and your threads with a clean, damp cloth. Hot lid. Clean ring. And into the canner this goes. Okay, I got 18 pints in two canners and I still have some to go. So we're going to bring these up to a boil and when they come to a boil we're going to boil bath these for 40 minutes. Well there it is folks, 23 pints of tomatoes with no extra water in the bottom. You see that? That's what stewing them does. Now I had 24 but one broke in the canner. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying you can never have too many canned tomatoes. Take care. Bye-bye.